What do you think about Trump running for office again? I, I don't think he should be running the country. He treated the Puerto Ricans with disrespect uh, on Hurricane Maria when he came to Puerto Rico. Uh, he disregarded the lives that were lost here in Puerto Rico. I think he has defrauded uh, the, the United States. His views are uh, very radical. We should be progressive. He has gone backwards in a lot of his policies. Trump is a disgrace for the, the people of the United States that he doesn't represent any of the goodness of the United States people as a country. And I don't think that he should run, and I don't think that he should be president, and I sh think it's a big risk. I think that he should be put away. <laughs> oh my God, don't get me started. He's an asshole. And he shouldn't be running for the presidency again. And if he does, he, you know, he shouldn't win. Hopefully not. Maybe he's a good president. <laughs> He comes and throw a uh, uh, towel, it, and, and, and the people uh, are mad with him. But uh, it's not the, the throw of the towel. It, it's, it's because uh, every every president of the United States never see us like uh, part of United States. They think we are Indians or we are uh, poor people. Puerto Rico is not very important for, for the president or for the American politics because we don't vote. We don't have representation there. We, we had somebody go there, but don't, don't have a, a voice there. Trump, no. No, <laughs> I don't like him at all. Because of all of the military that is going on right now over there, is causing a lot of problems. Policy-wise, policy-wise, I cannot tell you that, oh, he put this into law that I don't like, right? I cannot tell you that. But uh, I think his way of doing politics brought the United States closer to what Latin America used to be or is still there with uh, populism. And it's a, it's a, it's a bad road. And, uh, on top of that, if you see politics in the United States now, it's a resemble of politics in Puerto Rico in the 1980s. What happens here in the 1980s with two really powerful candidates and passionate candidates was that they turned the island into, if you're not with me, I hate you, or they just, even families, they didn't talk to each other because opposite extremes, opposite extremes right? And since then, nothing happened because Whoever uh, wins will destroy whatever the, the previous administration did. And I think that's it's happening in the United States right now. Whether Trump should run for presidency or not has to go beyond whether he's capable of doing it as a professional, not as a person, because there are differences there. I believe that we have to stop electing just yes, because they're politicians. We need to start voting for people that don't just learn law or don't just go and into the Senate and propose new ways of uh, govern, governing stuff, whether it's Trump, whether it's anybody else. We need actually people that know how to run a country, not just make laws that prohibit or allow or disallow rights. It's not, I don't, I don't agree on anything with him, anything. There's, his leadership is not right. How he treats people, how he treats black people, how he treats Indians, Koreans, Asians, Mexicans, and he treats them like they're lower class. That's, I'm not a really political person, so honestly I don't have any thoughts other than he's, his leadership is pretty, it's pretty wrong. I don't agree with anything, but other than that, I'm not a political person. What do you think about Biden running for office again? President Biden, uh, although I think he's a good guy, uh, he, he's old. Uh, he, he, I, I don't think his mental capabilities are, are up to the, 
to the level that is needed for the presidency. But I would prefer him to Trump. I would prefer him to any Republican. I think I like Biden. And I think that, that he has been a good president. And I think that he has the ability to negotiate with different people from different sides of the, the, the aisle, from different uh, strings of thought. So I, I like him. I think that he should run again. And he has Kamala by his side. So if he gets sick or whatever, Kamala can take place. He had many challenges to deal with coming into the presidency. I think he's a good guy, a human decent guy, like, like Trump wasn't. But there are things that can be better. You know, I think he has the best intentions to do good for the people, but it's, it's you know, challenging times. But I think definitely, you know, if you compare him with Trump, you know, to me, he's just like day and night. Uh, should he run for president again? I'm not sure. <laughs> but I sure hope that if he does, that, he, you know, I hope that he wins again. <laughs> And we don't need Trump in power, for sure, if that's the option. President Biden is very old to govern the, the United States. Uh, Biden uh, is the same thing. <laughs> Biden uh, looks too old for, for president. Biden, yeah, I support him. Hmm. But I don't really like know anything, no mucho. I don't really care. United States, we are 350 million people, and we have those two guys. It's incredible that like, we cannot find any other candidate there. Policy-wise, I don't know. I haven't seen anything that is, is good or bad for the country. It's like non-existent for me. On President Biden, nothing against him. Lately, he does seem to portray being tired. And I think this country is looking towards a younger generation of uh, leaders. So I think we should allow them to start bringing new ideas into what's going on in this country. He can, I know he can make some choices that can be bad for society, but I do know he can do some good choices for society. So it's more of a good than bad, in my opinion. You know, honestly, I don't, I haven't heard anything that he does in the news or anything like that. Other than that, I would say he's a pretty decent president. Definitely, in my opinion, better than Trump.